holidays, of course, the food, especially the desserts. And here to share how you can make the best sweet dishes is Southern Living's editor at large, Christy Jordan. Christy, all right, you're going to tell us how we can all have a white hot Christmas. Absolutely. You know, with these great recipes from Southern Living, we do not have to rely on the snow in order to have a white Christmas anymore. All right. Well, and you know what? I was looking at some of these. I mean, the, the cover of the magazine. Is, is that that cake right next to you, that chocolate gingerbread this toffee? This is. This is our 16th year of featuring a white cake on our cover. This year, we opened it up and held the first ever contest, and this is the grand prize winner. This is Lynn Brown's chocolate gingerbread toffee cake. It is a cake featuring chocolate layers with gingerbread flavoring, chocolate ganache oh. topped with Lynn's grandmother's homemade toffee recipe. Oh. And then she topped it all with a ginger-infused whipped cream icing. That looks spectacular. Have you tried it? Oh yes. I got to try some of the actual cake that was on the cover. I was there that day they were photographing it. Mm -hmm. You must have it. You just must have it. It will be an instant holiday classic. And there are tons more on there. Other ideas. You want to show us a few? Yes, you know, some people are intimidated by layer cakes, so there's yeah. no need to be, but just in case, these cupcakes are still all the rage. Cupcakes are a clever and fuss free way to serve cake at your party, and I jazzed these up some by getting my kids involved. I bought little cupcake wrappers and let my kids coat them with glue and glitter. They had a lot of fun, and it adds instant elegance to your cupcakes. This is also our red velvet cake recipe, which is a holiday tradition. It is not Christmas in the South without red velvet. You know, the secret has gotten out, though. The whole country's in love with red velvet. Yeah. So today, I'm going to let you know what the next great southern export is. It is going to be our pecan divinity. For those not familiar with divinity, it's basically a fluffy white fudge made using simple ingredients you have on hand and garnished with a pecan half. Flu it's called white, it's called divinity? Divinity. Yes, it's divine, isn't it? It is divine, absolutely. But you know, a lot of us are going down our list and trying to come up with that special gift for the special people in our lives. Who doesn't love homemade gifts? So this is a fun way. We have packaged some snowball cookies in a little fun Chinese takeout box covered in glitter. This costs about a dollar, and they're available pretty much everywhere this time of year. And that's just a fun little way to package that. And then if you're having a holiday get-together, having your family over for that special dinner, and you want to really wow and impress them, you have got to pick up this issue for the instructions on how to make our peppermint cake platter. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my gosh. Are those just peppermint candies? Yes, it's peppermint candies, a few pennies worth, and a couple of minutes in the oven, and you've got this platter that will showcase any holiday cake and make it the grand finale it was meant to be. You have no idea how the wheels are spinning in my head right now. Now, let me ask you about, are all of these recipes found in this particular magazine issue? You can find all of these recipes and instructions in the December double feature issue, and some of them are on southernliving.com. Okay, including like the glitter and the little cupcake liners and all that stuff? Yes, ma'am. This is in this issue. So just check out the magazine. It's got over 128 new holiday recipes that you're going to love. And then visit us online as well, and you'll have the complete picture, everything you need for a perfect Christmas. Well, Christy Jordan, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and we thank you for joining us, and we thank, thank Southern so Living much. for that satellite time. You just want to, like, rip this...